so that was an excess, successful day. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. With the boats in? Yeah, the boat's been lifted in now, guys. We're in. Although now the tide's out, and where we, you know, the marina we're at is a uh, is um, muddy, and the tide's out. Yeah. So we're actually it's like the mud. It's mud. Now. The mud's like that thick. Me and Dad weren't walking in it. But we're in. <laughs> That's the main thing. And we've been afloat, which was wonderful. It was like but when I've managed when to get rather sunburnt. Can oh, you see? Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> I was wearing sun cream as well, guys. Before anybody tells me that I wasn't, I was wearing a lot of sun cream, but I was stood out for hours in the sun because it took hours to put crane hours in. We had problems of it being overweight. Yeah, I had to do three lifts because it was like six ten, it was meant to be like five. Seven, so. six point nine, yeah, it was meant to be mm. five, so it took a few it's lifts. Probably because all the move, and stuff to move. On. Yeah, water, there's lots of reasons, isn't there? Yeah. So uh, we got a bit hot, didn't we, and bothered? Board. Oh, yeah, I, I was sat in the car most of the time getting my camera out. Yeah. So here we are, on board with the yeah. doggy. There's my doggy. Stand on the back. Stand on the front. Come stand happy. On the happy, water. happy, guys. Hopefully the tide will be big enough to move. Although we're waiting for a spring, so yeah, maybe, I'm maybe for not. A spring it, tide because we need to right down to the bottom. So. Yeah, we're actually got. We've actually got yeah. mooring right down there. So uh, we're, we're stuck here for now, but we'll see how it goes. We're happy. We sat there waiting for a spring tide, a lovely rig of Bowie come and finished our rigging and we got ourselves up, which is a big first for us. And then we went out on a shakedown, the stilet leg fouled us, we got right round a prop, and yes, the lifeboat recovered us by towing and we made the flipping papers. And then mumps, and mumps trying to fix our stilet leg. <laughs> We we're playing in the mud. Oh yeah! Why? Why are we playing the mud? Because we need to do the stilet leg. Yeah. So, so dad's not playing the mud. No. Look, can I get my welly pops on again? No, daddy, what are you doing? Playing in the mud. In your pants. I've got no shorts, am I? And <laughs> Wellingtons. Okay, let's start to dig it. Grand look though. I've got to dig it. Your little brown legs deep. sticking out. I've got to dig it all that deep, all the way under the boat because. I don't think you can actually oh, get oh, how deep that hole is. <laughs> It's a big oh. hole. And you got to get in it, why? <laughs> because I've got to get over under there to work on that leg. All the way. All the way under there to get to that leg. Get out of the way, Bear. For a sec. Bear, come on, let's go to the other side. <laughs> and this is the only way to work on the leg. Are you just sinking down? You need to dig out the bottom a bit more. It's a long way to dig. Ugh. Or you could just wait and um, go in in, in a dinghy in the water when, it, when it's in water. Like I said, could lay, in, lay in like a that tub, that plastic tub thing. They said you borrow. This is the joys, you see. This is the joys. This is the joys of having problems with your stilet leg when you think it's all alright and it's actually not. This is, this is what you have to go for. Hi! Oh, you're a bit splattered. You are going to get dirty. <laughs> you are going to stink. The smell is like sulphur. It's like, oh. I'm glad the wind's blowing this way. It's not blowing into the boat. I don't know what you two are doing, apart from going to get really dirty. We're making mud layers! I'm seriously thinking carrying that plastic boat down and even digging all this out. Wouldn't it? And you could just leave it tied up underneath here. But how do I get, how do I get underneath it? The plastic boat? Lay it? But well, it's in the water, it'll be way higher, like two metres higher. That's all right, but there's only that much gap between mud and think the boat's that big. When I'm sat on top of there, I'm literally I'm you'd gonna have to laid. lay down in it. Yeah, you'll be laid down in it. Well I don't know. I'm looking at you digging that out and it seems a lot a lot better option to me. I don't know, you go for it, keep digging. You're doing great grand job. Oh, 
All right then, I've had time off with it. So you know, do another shovel full then, let's see how hard it looks. And then I've had time off. No, it's down, no, you just go right down and then go down your willies. Your little brown legs are a bit cute down there though, look at them. Fine specimens. This is one for the ladies, isn't it? A nice hunky man in his pants. It's like no one comes down here, eh? Do you know what I think? Yes, there's right. stones down here. Yeah, there is, darling. That's I'm not going to get my stuff today, so I'll just put this little vest on so I don't get. Um, look, 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 Tie that rope out, babe. Hey guys, look! Oh god, look. they're gonna stink. Everybody's gonna stink. What? what are they doing? Bye. This is the locking mechanism on our select leg. We got loads of experts' advice, and we got loads of advice from people that thought it was experts, a bit like us. And eventually, after months and months and months, we did actually manage to get it fixed sticking room in reverse and work properly. In the meantime, I netted the boat, that was a big cold job all on my own, and my lovely mum come to the boat, bought me a fancy sewing machine that would make sort of thick material stuff and made me all up new upholstery, cushions, it was beautiful, she did a great job. Hilariously unwrapping and cutting the foam with a bread knife. That's a life hack for you guys. Get a cheap ass bread knife from Tesco's and cut the foam with it, it's brilliant. Works every time. And then we got it fitted. We did the window surrounds and the saloon looked pretty good. Thank you, Mummy. You're amazing. I love you forever. Just come and sell with us and then you'll get the full benefit. This is making for an interesting video. <laughs> What are you doing, Ethan? I'm sending the wheel. That's oh, right. Hang on, let's, have, let's come like. in the shade a bit because I'll be able to see. That's what it's going to look like. That's what it looked like. Yeah, there's a big difference. Isn't it? Yes. It looked lovely when it's finished. It's been left in the weather for a, bit, a little bit too long because that's actually mahogany. But more interesting than you sending the wheel, Ethan, what's the new game that we're playing today? Point storing game. <laughs> <laughs> about how this point scoring game is going to occupy the children and stop them from being naughty. Right, the point scoring game is they love, they love having the internet and going on the iPads because kids do just like watching all the rubbish on YouTube. It's totally <laughs> pointless and not getting any benefit from watching it. Anyway. It. <laughs> so, I have a lot of data on the phone. Kids like playing the internet. They can play up quite a bit sometimes. And they get bored. Good other times. Yeah. So, I've given both 10 points. And every time I have to tell them to stop oh. screeching or yeah. whatever they're doing, and they're being very out, naughty. They lose a point. Mm -hmm. But every time they do something good, like helping us out when you say pass us a bag and one of them or a says, tool or something, yeah, or wash up bow, which she didn't do very often, you get a point added. Point added. If, if they're in plus points by the time I don't know after dinner when they want internet, they can have internet. If they're not for like an hour, I mean, don't well, have it in endlessly. Hour, yeah, after dinner or whatever. Yeah, tree. Yeah, if you're pestering, Bo, you're going to lose yeah, point, yeah. aren't you? That's no pestering for internet. So I thought that was a good idea to try and we'll see how it works today to, to try and keep them. And I think he's a miserable humbugger that wants to get more points on more internet. But there we go. What do you think? Think it's going to work? I think it's going to work, don't you? And uh, am I on a point scheme? You're on a point Apparently, scheme. Apparently, I'm I've lost two already. <laughs> but I regain myself because I made him a coffee. No, you're not on the point scheme. Oh, I'm, I'm off the point scheme. All oh, right then. You're I, I thought. I, love you. I didn't say that again. When I got the video camera looking at you. You're lovely. I, love you. I have proof now. That's it. Proof. He's smitten. Lovely sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> smitten, not smitten. He's dis smitten. You just disagree with everything I say, and every time I say it, and you can always do that. Because I'm a woman. And we were always right. 
and I'm sending this wheel in the cockpit on the freshly painted paint and the quite newly varnished doors because it's too hot out there to sit in sun all day sanding this wheel. And we'll get the back out anyway because we're sure power. It'll be fine. Sure power, which is free actually. At the moment, but we're not telling anybody because we can't see why our meter seems to have so much money on. We'll keep that washed done. Thank you. Short term. <laughs> <laughs> Chris made his own sunshade. Me and the kids got on with playing, adventuring and exploring. We had a great couple of birthdays. We got new kayaks for the boat from when we were out there sailing. We had a pretty cool couple of birthday cakes. We had low pops and days out and everything was great. Until my big girl, Bryony, left me and went off to uni. Bye, Bernie, we miss you. Come sailing soon. We had lots of visitors to the boat. It's a family swans every morning. We explored all around sets, saw foxes, and we had little bug visitors of our own. These are death head moth butterflies, and their caterpillars are humongous. You feed them loads, but they loved it on the boat, and we got lots of bush and things from, from around the place until they turned into moths. And they were huge. Too quick. Beautiful, isn't he? Have you seen the markings on his back? I know. Um, He's too quick for me to video, though. His skull it's okay. markings. Is it trying to go? He's trying to fly. Go fly away, baby. <laughs> no, not fly away. <laughs> fly away. <gasps> Look at it. It's gorgeous. Can we get a new stick for it? Jesus, look at it. Go Shall on. I stop recording? Yeah. So cute, it just sits there. It's just like a little, 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 little,
weather was mild and the sled leg was finally locking down. We could go forward and reverse. So we thought, let's go. And we all went off sailing. A nice little weekend away, a little quiet sail down to the East Head, anchored out and just enjoyed, enjoyed the peace and quiet. So this is our vlog. Hello Nicola. This is our first night of anchoring. A little bit of seasickness coming in. Sort of 20 knots, but it's gusting up to about nearly 30. No, I don't think it was. We've got a side on wind, side on waves. Well, it's calmed down a little bit now. But it's sort of moving back quite a lot. Well, I'm not going to it, I'm going to move. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a little bit windy. It's all full off up there, just get down your back Let me get back down to safety. I've only got my slippers on, look. Not dressed for the occasion. <laughs> so yeah, this is our first night of anchoring. All on our own. It's a little bit rough. I think the weather forecast we looked at lying, so they said it was going to get up to about 17 mile an hour, but it's gusting a little bit more. Yeah. Anyway, more later, if we're still here. <laughs> we made it through the night and loved every second. Join us next episode when we sail a bit further afield to Bowley River and Child Free. Woohoo! Remember, like us, thumbs up on YouTube, and you can find us on Facebook and Instagram.